Hi students, as a part of the battery, today I am going to explain you about the one of the primary battery. The most appropriate example of the primary battery is lithium battery. And in this lithium battery, I am going to explain you about the one of the example that is lithium manganese dioxide battery. Now do remember students, while attempting the answer related to any of the battery in the exam, you have to follow the following protocol. First and foremost, you have to write the constructional aspects of the battery. That is, what is anode of the battery, what is cathode of the battery, what is an electrolyte of the battery. And what is the EMF produced during the functioning of the battery? Next, when the current is drawn from the battery, what is the reaction occurs at anode? And what is the reaction at cathode? Followed by applications, followed by advantages, followed by disadvantages. So this is the protocol you have to follow while writing the, the answer related to any of the battery, whether it is the primary battery or the secondary battery, right? So now in this particular uh, video, I am may I am going to emphasize mainly upon the construction aspects and the chemical reactions involved, because you can study the advantages and disadvantages on own, but this you cannot easily study. That is what are the chemical reactions. That is how to write the chemical reactions uh, uh, which are involved in the battery. That is whenever the current is drawn from the battery, what are the chemical reactions takes place or occurs in the battery. Right. So coming to our uh, lithium battery. So we are going to discuss about the uh, lithium manganese dioxide battery. So according to the protocol, what is that first thing we have to discuss about? We have to discuss about the construction aspects. What is the anode of the battery? So anode of the battery is very easy to remember. Lithium is the anode for this battery. Next, we have to write what is the cathode of the battery. And cathode of the battery is manganese dioxide battery. That is manganese dioxide, sorry. Magnesium dioxide. And next, uh, we have to write what is the electrolyte which is a part of this particular lithium manganese dioxide battery. What is that electrolyte? Now, do remember, students, whenever the lithium is considered as one of the electrode, we should not uh, use the water as the solvent. That is, we should not uh, go with the aqua solution of the electrolyte because lithium violently reacts with water because it is highly reactive metal. So we should not go with the aqueous solution of an electrolyte. Instead, we have to use uh, another uh, solvent. So the electrolyte used uh, in this particular lithium manganese dioxide battery. So not only in this particular lithium ion battery or lithium battery students, Wherever the lithium is chosen as one of the electrode, then we cannot use the water at all. So keep this in the mind. Right. So electrolyte is lithium tetrafluoroborate salt. Lithium tetrafluoroborate salt dissolved in dissolved in solution of dissolved in solution of Dimethoxyethane, dimethoxyethane, I, propylene carbonate, propylene carbonate. So this is the electrolyte which is being used for us. Lithium tetrafluoroborate dissolved in the solution of dimethoxyethane and propylene carbonate. So this is about the constructional aspects of this particular lithium battery to be more precise enough lithium manganese dioxide battery. 
and emf produced during the functioning of this particular battery is 2 volt 2 volt so we have ended up with the constructional aspects friends and we have discussed uh, about the what is that emf which is going to be produced during the functioning of this battery so according to the protocol next is when the current is drawn from the battery what is that reaction occur at anode and what is that reaction occur at cathode? So, whenever the current is drawn from the battery, then following reaction occur at anode in this particular lithium manganese dioxide battery, which is a lithium battery, which in turn is the primary battery. So, which is acting as anode students? Lithium is acting as anode. So since the lithium is acting as anode, it acts as anode ion undergo oxidation. So it acts as anode ion undergo oxidation, producing a Li plus ions and losing the one electron. Now keep this in the mind, students. As it is a primary battery, I have clearly explained in the previous video while explaining the classification of the batteries that primary battery is non-rechargeable. Since primary battery is non-rechargeable, only the forward reaction is possible. That is, discharging is possible and recharging is not possible. So, you must be very careful while writing the reaction of the primary and secondary battery. In the case of primary battery, the arrow mark will be oriented only towards forward direction because only discharging is possible. Discharging is possible. Recharging is not possible because it is a non-rechargeable primary battery. So, discharge. So, forward reaction is discharging students. So, you have to keep this in mind. Only forward reaction is possible. Forward reaction is discharging. Backward reaction is recharging. But it is the primary battery. Since it is the primary battery, it is non-rechargeable. So, backward reaction is not possible. So, this is a reaction occurs at anode in this lithium manganese dioxide battery whenever the current is drawn from the battery. Now whenever the current is drawn from the battery, now let us see what is that reaction which occurs at the cathode in this particular battery. Which is acting as cathode students? Manganese dioxide. So manganese dioxide is acting as cathode. So since it is acting as a cathode, it gains the one electron which has been lost by the lithium upon oxidation whenever the lithium is acted as anode. So, sorry. It gains one electron which has been lost by manganese dioxide which has been lost by Lithium upon oxidation and gets reduced to MnO2 minus 1. So only forward the reaction is possible. That is, discharging is possible, students. Recharging is not possible. Keep this in the mind because it is a primary non-rechargeable battery. Now, so we have discussed when the current is drawn from the battery as the lithium is acting as anode it acted as anode and undergone oxidation and produced li plus one ions and lost one electron now whatever the electron which has been lost by the lithium upon oxidation is gained by the manganese dioxide which is acting as a cathode in this particular battery and getting reduced to MnO2 minus 1. So in order to get the overall reaction, what we need to do students, we have to combine the oxidation reaction, which is occurring at anode, and reduction reaction, which is occurring at cathode. And after combining, 
whatever the equivalent electrons and equivalent ions if present on opposite side of the arrow mark should be cancelled if equivalent ions or equivalent electrons are present on the same side of the arrow mark they should be added or combined so what is the overall reaction students so equivalent ions are not there in this particular uh, anode and cathodic reaction that is oxidation and the reduction reaction but equivalent electrons are there equivalent electrons are there so in the oxidation reaction one electron is there on the right side of the arrow mark and in the cathodic reaction that is uh, in the reduction reaction one electron is there on left side of the arrow mark so if they are present on the opposite side of the arrow mark they can be cancelled they can be cancelled so what is uh, the left over part so whatever the part whatever the portion which is left on or remained on the left side of the arrow mark should be written on the left side only and whatever the content which is remained on right side of the arrow mark should be written on the right side only so accordingly what is the content which is remained on the left side of the arrow mark students lithium plus manganese dioxide giving rise to what is the content which is left or remained on the right side of the arrow mark li plus 1 mno2 minus 1 so li plus 1 mno2 minus 1 turns to li mno2 li mno2 so this is the overall redox reaction occurs uh, during the functioning of this particular lithium manganese dioxide battery which is uh, one of the primary battery comes under the category of uh, lithium battery. The major application of this particular lithium manganese dioxide battery is uh, whatever uh, the coin cells, coin, coin cells whatever the coin cells uh, which are a part of the wrist watches or this lithium manganese dioxide battery on this wrist. Okay. I hope you understood this concept. So it is very easy. Just uh, follow the following protocol. Accordingly, you need to write the answer and keep this in the mind that uh, don't forget this arrow mark. If it is a primary battery, we have to orient only in the, in the forward direction. Because discharging is possible, backward reaction that is recharging is not possible. Whenever you are writing the reactions associated with the, the secondary battery, so forward reaction is possible, discharging is possible, backward reaction is possible, that is recharging is possible because that is a rechargeable battery. I hope you understood this. Thank you students.